Welcome. Are you ready to transform your life with a simple yet powerful habit? Then you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to look at the practice of gratitude. But I know what you're thinking. How can gratitude change my life? Well, stick with this. I'm going to give you the benefits of practicing gratitude and of course those valuable tips and tricks of how to put into practice every single day. Firstly though, what is gratitude? Well, gratitude is more than that thank you. It's that deep feeling of appreciation. So there's deep empathetic feelings that we get and we actually genuinely mean, okay? So there's no false feelings here. It's all the things that we are truly grateful for. Now, why would we want to practice this? Well, gratitude has been shown to be one of those things that generally boosts our happiness. So it helps us build strong, positive emotions. We build and deepen relationships and of course, strengthens the memories that we have. So not only do we get those benefits, but it also boosts our health and our well-being. So supports and boosts our immune system, helps us sleep better. And of course, we feel good. So of course our mood goes up. Can't beat that feel good bit vibe. And of course the best of all, it is free. It is free. It can be done anywhere and you can do it without any fancy kit or anything like that. You can just do it. All right. Now gratitude can be into three levels. It can be to ourselves, it can be to others, and it can be to the world around. All right. Now the hardest one is to ourselves because especially when we're feeling low and not feeling good and you know maybe lacking some confidence maybe there's a few challenges going on it can be very hard to express this great feeling of going oh my god i'm so amazing i'm so grateful for the fact because you're feeling like shit let's face it we've all felt like shit and we've been hard to find ourselves being grateful for things or maybe there's challenges in your life right maybe you're struggling financially and it's hard to be grateful for the fact you have a job and all this because you're still not making ends meet but actually you can change all that by putting this gratitude into place because there's always a way up right if you believe there is always a way up right so we know it's going to be good for us it boosts our mood it's easy to do so how can we do this okay so we can do this in four different ways we can do this mentally verbally, physically by actually doing something or in a written format by writing something. Now, as I said, there's going to be tips and tricks. I'm going to give you a few ways now into ways that you can do this every single day. And then I'll give you some tricks of how to get the real good benefits. So those real good feelings that you get from doing this. So the best times to do it. So first one that you could do is writing a gratitude journal. So a gratitude journal, you could pick a time of the day and you can literally pick three things that you're really grateful for. You could choose a day to have a specific focus, maybe things that about yourself or you or someone else, or maybe you could just pick whatever feels good in the day, right? You could pick anything, but by choosing I have three things it means that every single day you've got three things you're grateful for and try to be a little different maybe think outside the box maybe not just grateful for the fact you have a house every single day right i mean that's something to be truly grateful for but maybe you try and think actually i'm going to make sure i write something different every day for this week okay it's good another good way if we stay on the written one we're going to number two and we're going to express it to others okay we're going to write a, a gratitude letter to someone else so it doesn't have to be this long waffly letter i mean it could be an email these days but there's nothing like getting a pen and paper together and of course the effort of posting a letter is fantastic but of course you may take pen and paper and then take a photo and send the photo okay i'm not saying you always have to do that but that pen and paper that little bit of effort then somebody can see that little personal touch that you're putting in more than just some keys and a keypad all right so writing that you could also again staying on number three for the written one is that sort of written card or something like this okay so people always go on about you remembering birthdays and stuff i know i'm terrible at that right but it's always the time you sit there and think oh i forgot that text two days ago hang on a second you can still take appreciation. It doesn't have to be instant. And you can pick it up and send a text. You can send a little card or something like this. And sometimes just because someone doesn't reply straight away, it's not personal, okay? You 
don't express gratitude just to receive back, okay? Gratitude is because you want to give that feeling and that appreciation. It's not because you're getting something back, okay? So there's sort of three ways that you can write this. Now, remember I said we can do this in different ways. So we could undertake uh, for number four, a mindfulness practice. So we could allow ourselves to be fully present in a moment, maybe sitting, having a cup of coffee in the morning, looking out the window. I know that's one thing I personally do because I look out the window and I go, I've got green trees, right? Okay. If you're like me and you live in a city, having a green tree outside your window is something to appreciate. So of course, even a little moment, even just as you're holding a your cup, I'm grateful for the fact I've got a warm cup of coffee, right? These things matter. So with that mindfulness practice, if you do want some mindfulness practice, there are a few meditations going onto my page and they will certainly help you if you need a little help. If not, drop in the comments. And of course, I'm here to help you with this. Now, we've done this a few written examples. We've done a mindfulness practice. You can also do a verbal one, okay? So number five is verbal. So whether you're expressing this verbally to someone else by picking up the phone or speaking to someone face-to-face, -face, or even just as you're walking around the room, I'm really grateful for, okay? There's nothing wrong with expressing it. You could also take that onto number six, and that's the mental side. So here's a tip for you, okay? Because when we do a new practice or new habit, to make it easy, if you tag it onto something else you already do, it becomes much, much easier. That's why I suggest the cup of coffee or something in the morning. And the other one is maybe cleaning your teeth. It's a great habit. We do this every day, twice a day. So as you're cleaning your teeth, take on a mental gratitude practice. In your mind, thinking, I'm cleaning my teeth. I'm really grateful for the fact I have running water to clean my teeth with, okay? It can be that simple. You Maybe you're sitting there going, literally the whole time I'm cleaning my teeth, I'm going, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this. So you've got the mental practice going on. Okay, now number six is an example that I'm going to give you to express it to others. Now when we think about giving, remember I said it's not about giving to get back. Okay, we're going to give something that we think someone else wants. So sometimes it can be send them a cup of coffee or a voucher or gifts and flowers. Okay, but even just turning up, right? Maybe we've got a friend who lives not far away or an elderly relative. I mean, I did this to my nan. They didn't even know I was turning coming on Sunday. But on Sunday afternoon, I rock up at the home. And I said, I'm here to see my nan. Is she awake? Okay, I always ask that because she's 99. She's doing awesome. And of course, she sits there. And of course, she calls me by the wrong name at times and asks me how my mum and I am, or so she thinks I'm my sister. She gets me confused. But you know what? I smile. I go, it's all good because she can't help the fact she's got a little confused. You know, 99 is a very good age. And I'm going, I'm really grateful for the fact I can see you. And, you know, and she then tells me how grateful she is for the fact they have good food. I tell you what, she is more grateful than some people I meet. She's like, they've got really good food. I'm really comfortable the little things and those are the things that make life special and that deep root these feelings of happiness so gratitude okay you can do it there's six ways that you can put it into your practice into your daily routine there was a little tip there of tagging it to something else you do okay but really maybe think about here's the other tip i'm going to give you the best time to do it first thing in the morning and last thing at night Okay, when our brains are in this sort of sleepy alpha state, yeah, this is when we're more like to absorb these positive feelings. So first thing in the morning, maybe you're not quite with it to do a, a written gratitude practice. Maybe as you're sort of waking to, you do much more of a mental or verbal practice, and that's how you start your day. But then your mind, your subconscious mind, is going to absorb in this positive, these affirmations that you're giving it, okay? Then in the evening, spending three, again, each time just three to five minutes, it doesn't have to be long. In the evening, again, having a set practice as you're sort of winding down into bed. Maybe you do a, you get into bed and you just take your notebook out and you write a few things, maybe things from the day that you're grateful for. I'm grateful that this happened today, okay? Whatever is your practice, one, choose something that you're gonna stay consistent with, something that fits you. If you like writing, go with a written one. If you like me and find writing sometimes a bit challenging, making the time to sit there and do a visual verbal practice 
is super helpful. Two, tag it to something else that you do. All right, so we've got consistently uh, with something that's gonna work for us, we're gonna tag it to something else so we kind of make it part of our day, not something else we fit into it. And then the last one is don't forget you. And I'm adding that because it's easy to give to others, but ourselves, when we are our strongest, we have more to give. So never forget yourself. So if you're going to practice something, drop it in the comments. Maybe someone has expressed a moment of gratitude to you. Again, let us know, let's share this joy and success. And of course, maybe you wanna share with how it feels, or maybe there's something you just wanna work on drop them below. I'd love to read them. And of course, if you need any little bits of tips and support, of course, I'm here. Simply reach out below in the comments. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.